Good morning, um, fourth grade students of room 502. Your classroom, where you learn a lot, I hope. And uh, today we're going to start off with a problem set. So you need to get uh, your problem set up uh, for lesson seven. That's on page 29. So I'm going to go ahead and write. Page 29. Today's date is the 30th of August. So go ahead and get that paper out, page 29, in your problem set. We're talking the fourth grade problem set. So um, be sure you get out the right one, not the third grade problem set. And um, Think about what were we doing, what we were doing yesterday. Um, we were rounding. We are rounding numbers to the nearest thousandth. <clears throat> so rounding multi-digit numbers to the thousandth place using the vertical number line. So let's hop right in, read our instructions the right way. And it says round to the nearest thousand. That's what we need to do. So I'm going to draw a squiggly line there. Circle the word round. Then it says to use the number line to model your thinking. So I'm going to use the number line to model my thinking. Let's look at our first one, 6,700. Well, to round this, we know it's going to have to be either 6,000 or 7,000, right? So let's go ahead and put 6,000 here. And, of course, on the top, we would put 7,000. And remember, what goes in the middle? When we think about this is 60 hundredths, 70 hundredths. The middle of 65 and 70 is 65. So it would be 6,500. And the number that we're dealing with is 6,700. Which one of these is in the um, thousands place? Well, of course, the 6. So. It's 6,700, well, there's 6,500, so 6,700 would go right around here. And we could see that it's much closer to 7,000 than it's 6,000, so we would round up to 7,000. That's how that one's done. Now, if you're comfortable, you can move on and then pause the video to check to see how you did. Let's go to the next one. It's 9,340. Once again, we're concerned with that 9,000. So I'm going to write 9,000 down here. What do you think is going to go up there? Right up there. Well, if you said 10,000, you're absolutely correct. And now we've got to get to our middle point. Remember, 90 hundredths, excuse me, and 90 hundredths, 100 hundredths. So between 90 and 100 is 95. <coughs> Excuse me. So this must be 9,500. <coughs> What's the number we're rounding? 9,340. Well, look at that. 300 is less than 500. So my 9,340 must go right there. Now, what is it closer to, the 10,000 or the 9,000? Well, it's easy to see with the midpoint that it's closer to 9,000. Let's go on to our next problem. And this is 16,401. Well, there's our thousands place. So we must have to start with 16,000. And let's go up 1,000, which would be to 17,000. And what's going to be in the middle here? Well, guarantee you, 500, 16,500. And now let's look at our number, 16,401. 401. Is it greater than 16,500? No, because it's 400. So we know it's going to go below here, below the 16,500. So we have 16,401. 401. So what's it closer to? Well, pretty obvious it's 16,000. So we round it. 16,401 to the nearest thousand, which is 16,000. 
Okay, let's look at this one. 9 is in our 39 thousands, so let's go ahead and do this. 39 thousand, and what comes after 39? 40. So 40 thousand. And what's in the middle of this? Well, once again, 39,500. But now look at this number. It's 39,545. Is that greater than 39,500? Absolutely, it's 45 greater than 39,500. So I probably don't have room to really put where it would be, but I'm going to put it pretty close to the 39,500. And I'll write it on this side, 39,545. Now, what is it closer to? Well, it's above the midpoint. It's greater than the midpoint, so we have to round up. So we're going to round up to 40,000. So we round it 39,545 to the nearest thousand, which is 40,000. So we round it up. Okay, we're going to get into some six-digit numbers now. 399,499. Well, what are we rounding? We're rounding to the nearest thousand. So let's underline the thousands. And it's 399. So I know that's going to be down here. And what's after 399? 400. So what would the middle be? Same thing as the other ones. 399,500. That's halfway from 399,000 to 400,000. And look at our number here. There's our clue right there. Is it going to be greater than 399,500 or less? It looks like it's just one less. So that'd be right around there. I'm going to write on this side. 399,499. So would we round up or down? Look, we're still less than the midpoint. So we would round down. And our answer would be 399,900. Let's go to our next problem, F. 840,007. Well, we're rounding to the thousands. How many thousands are there? There's 840,000, right? And so what we could do here is, um, since we're going to the nearest thousand, let's go to 841,000. And I know halfway is going to be 840, right? Because we're going up 500. I'm sorry for the pause. The book was giving me the wrong answers. So there we have it. 840,000, 841,000, and the middle is 840,500. Well, we're at 840,007. Only seven more. That's going to be really close to the very bottom there. So 840,007. So we would round down to 840,000. So we would round 840,007 to 840,000. That's rounding to the nearest thousand. Okay, let's turn our paper over. And these are some pretty complex problems where we really have to, to read carefully. Remember, we read, draw, and write in Eureka Math. So it says 975,462 songs were downloaded in one day. That's something we know, and I'm going to circle that number. Round this number to the nearest 100,000 to estimate how many songs were downloaded in one day. So this is what we need to do. So I'm squiggly line here, and circling round. I also need to use a number line to show your work, so I'm going to circle use a number line. So now I'm all set up. I've got to round, use a number line. And this one is the number I'm rounding, and I'm rounding it to what place value? The nearest 100,000. All right. So if I'm rounding to the nearest 100,000, we have to do something a little bit differently, okay? Okay. 
Well, Mr. Leggett really blew it. <laughs> Forget that. You guys are probably wondering, like, what's he talking about? That's not what it says. No, that is not what it says. Let me get out the right problem set, because that was problem set eight. So let me get out problem set seven. I thought I was doing something kind of funky there. Going to a hundred thousands from thousands. So don't worry about a thing. Remain calm. Let me just get out a fresh piece of paper. Here we go. There we are. Now we're at page 30. So a pilot wanted to learn about how many kilometers he flew in his last three flights from New York City to London. He flew 5,572 kilometers. So we're going to underline this. A pilot wanted to know about how many kilometers he flew on his last three flights. From New York City to London, he flew 5,572 kilometers. That's what we know, and I'm going to circle that. Then, from London to Beijing, he flew 8,147 kilometers. So I'm going to circle that. Finally, he flew 10,996 kilometers from Beijing back to New York City. So we need to round each number to the nearest thousand and then find the sum of the rounded numbers to estimate about how many kilometers the pilot flew. So we need to round and then we need to find the sum. Remember, sum is the answer to an addition uh, problem, math problem. So let's go ahead and round to the nearest thousands, okay? Let's start with the flight from New York City to London. It was 5,572 kilometers. What can we round that to? The nearest thousand, remember? So is this greater than 5,500? Yes, so we would round up to 6,000. Let's try the next one. It's 8,147. 8,147. Well, is this closer to 8,000 or 9,000? Well, look, there's 100. We'd have to go 900 up to 9,000 and only 147 down to 8,000. So we're going to round down to 8,000. And finally, the last flight is 10,966. 10,996. So is this closer to 10,000 or 11,000? I want you to think about that. Closer to 10,000 or 11,000? Well, pretty close to 11,000. Only four more and you would have 11,000. So we're going to round up to 11,000. There, we've done the first part. We've rounded uh, each number to the nearest th for thousand. But now we need to find the sum. Finding the sum means adding them up. So I'm going to take 11,000. I do it from greatest to largest, smallest, <laughs> excuse me, to 6,000. And we're adding 0, 0, 0. Go ahead and add that. If you got 15, you're absolutely right. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 1 is 15. And then we carry the 1 over, and we have 2. So the remember where we put the comma? Dun, 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 three spaces over, 25,000. So we could say the pilot, this is the part where we write, the pilot flew. And when we round, we use this important word, about 25,000 kilometers. Okay, let's go to number three. Mrs. Smith's class is learning about healthy eating habits. The students learned that the average child should consume about 12,000 calories each week. Once again, that's an estimate, about. Carrie consumed 12,748 calories. I'm gonna circle that. Tyler consumed 11,702 calories last week. We need to round to the nearest thousand to find out who consumed closer to the recommended number of calories. And we're going to use pictures, numbers, or words to explain. Well, I think we should probably go back to the old vertical number line. So let's do that. You do a vertical number line. We'll need two. This one will be who is the first student? Carry. We'll do carry here. And Carrie's right, doink, doink, and doink. So Carrie consumed 12,748. So we need to round to the nearest thousand. So I'm going to put 12,000 here, and then I'm going to put 13,000 up here. What's going to go in the middle? It's going to be 12,500. 
So then we look over at Kerry. He consumed 12,748 calories. Is that more than 12,500? If you said yes, you're absolutely right because it's 12,748. So we're going to put Kerry's total right here. And now we'll do the, this fellow Tyler. See, Eureka math problems, they're very extensive. You've got to do a lot. So Tyler consumed 11,702. So we're going to put the 11,000 down here and 12,000 up there on the top. So the middle, of course, would be 11,000. If you said 500, you're absolutely correct. So he ate 11,702. Is that greater than 11,500? Well, certainly there's 700s, there's 500s. So 11,702. 702, Mr. Leggett. Oh, and I'm sorry, we didn't circle Carrie's 13,000. So what is this closer to? Uh, and I'm going to put the, what's his name? Carrie Tyler to T down there. So Tyler consumed 11,702. Will we round up to 12,000 or down to 11,000? Well, if we look, it's cl much closer to 12,000. It's above, it's greater than the midpoint. So let's circle 12,000. So now we can explain that the target was 12,000. So Tyler consumed closer to the recommended number of calories. And I'm going to leave that up there. I'll leave it right there for a little bit. Never mind, Mr. Lake, it's just eating his dinner. Let's scroll up now and read two, three, four. <clears throat> what we know, for the 2013-14 school year, the cost of tuition at Cornell University was 43000 when rounded to the nearest thousand. So I'm going to circle 43000 Here's our, what we need to figure out. What is the greatest possible amount the tuition could be. What is the least possible amount the tuition could be? Wowie. Well, we need to make another vertical number in line. All right, so round it, it was 43,000. So let's do this. This is something a little new. So what we're going to do because we don't really know yet. So we're going to do something different on the number line, all right? We're going to start at 42,000. And up top, we're going to put 44,000 because the rounded amount was 43,000, so we're going to put 43,000 right here. Okay? So now we have to do two midpoints. Let's do 42,500. And we'll do 43,500. Wowie kazowie. That's a pretty difficult problem, if you ask me. Uh oh. Here comes the calculating cat. He's saying the problem's too hard and he doesn't want to do it. No calculating cat. Put that up there. Calculating cat. Do I have to get the spray bottle? I know it's difficult, but I have a room full of very intelligent students that will be able to figure this out. So I think you should let them do it. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. I'm going to get out the spray bottle. Okay, good. That scared him off. He doesn't like to do difficult math. So. We could see from here that the tuition could be, um, the greatest possible amount the tuition could be would be 
would be, because we're rounding to 43,000, so we would have to be below the 43,500, but just below it. So it would be 43,499, because if it was one more, we'd have to round up. Now what about this one right here? It could be 42,500. So our range, oh brother, Mr. Leggett, this is what he gets tired for. This would be down here, so sorry. So our range would be from here to here. Because if we get to 43,500, we round up to 44,000. If we're at 42,500, we would go up to 43,000. Anything less, we'd drop down to 42,000. So we're gonna say the greatest, this is where we write, possible amount is 40, I'll put my dollar sign there, 43,499. The least possible amount is 42,000, oh, forgot my dollar sign, 500. So we can see that this would round up to 43,000 and this would round down to 43,000. So if you say the tuition was about 43,000, you're all set. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today, boys and girls, of room 502, the coolest room in all of Hamilton K8. And we will talk to you later.